Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a quick video showing you how to print out some grid paper on Excel. The benefit of doing it on, on Excel is you have a lot more control. You can change the, the color, um, the shading of, of your grid paper, and all you really need to do is change the column width and the, the outline of the margins. So to change the column width, what I'm going to do is select all the cells, and on any one of these headers, right click column width. And I'm going to just set it to 2. Hit OK. And now what I'm going to do is change my, my printer settings. Go to File and Print. And then on the margins here, I'm going to go to Custom Margins and set these to zeros. Just to sort of maximize the space. And I'm going to also center this horizontally and vertically. Hit OK. And I'm going to go to the view tab, select page layout, because this is going to show me exactly what one whole page looks like, because I want to select only those cells for one page, because I don't want to include anything, anything more or anything less. So back to the home tab I go, select this drop down for the borders, and I'm going to click on more borders. And now what I can do is determine the color that I want to use for the outline as well as the inside. So I'm going to select a moderate gray color just so it's not too dark. Click on outline and inside and hit OK. Now it's applied that formatting to all of those cells that I've selected. So now if I go to file and print, I can save this as, as a PDF. And I'm going to save it to the desktop. Just call it grid paper. And then once it's printed out my PDF, I've got this grid paper ready to go that I can print off. Now, so obviously there's a lot of places you can print off grid paper, but again, with Excel, one of the benefits is that, you know, you can apply different shading if you wanted to. Like if I went back into these borders and under the fill color, let's say I could, I could use a lighter shade of gray to fill those in if I wanted a, a more custom effect or if there's certain um, you know, certain uh, cells that I wanted to highlight. So it gives you a bit more flexibility as far as your, as how your grid paper looks. And, you know, if you want to print out one page or 10 pages, you can just change the copies and doing Excel makes it really easy and customizable. 